940 here, Big 550 KTRS. A couple minutes with uh, Jeff Gordon, uh, online sports columnist for stltoday.com. Good morning, Jeff Gordon. Hey, good morning, and I guess it is a good morning for the Cardinals. Well, sort of. Why? What happened? Well, we're a little concerned about this uh, Matt Adams oh, elbow yeah. injury on uh, the heels of uh, Adam Craig's or Alan Craig's uh, foot injury. Starting to look a little depleted on offense. Um, time to get a little worried, I think. All right. Well, let's let's uh, Alan Craig. It, it, what's his timeline? When is he coming back? Or do we have he's that? Got a, he's got a nasty foot injury at uh, the midfoot sprain. Those can take a long time. If he gets any at bats in before the playoffs start, I'd be surprised. Yeah, and the other thing is he's been sitting on the sidelines for a month. So if he does come back for the playoffs, how crisp will he be? Yeah, it's really hard to get his bat going when all he can do is just watch right now. And it's uh, your feet are so important to your hitting base. So you know that guy was so critical to your offense. Adam steps in; he's critical to the offense, and then he goes down. So what do we know about Adams? How worried should we be about that? Well, he had an elbow uh, problem before and ended up with uh, bone chips being removed. And so this is a, a previous injury. And I think if, if you look at it, you're worried that, hey, that earlier problem could be leading to this problem. Maybe he's got ligament damage because of all that, you know, that turbulence he had in that joint uh, leading up to uh, this season. Yeah. Uh, should we be concerned? Adam Wainwright's got like 220-something innings already. Should we be concerned he, he might be worn out for the playoffs? Yeah, I think uh, he's tried to scale back his work between starts, but, you know, that helps only a little bit. I think if they could do it over again, they would have condensed their rotation. They would have given him more days off during the middle of the season because, you know, this is the guy that's going to have to pitch the play-in game. If there is one, he's the guy that will pitch game one of the playoffs if they avoid the play-in game. And that means he's going to take the biggest load uh, once they get to the postseason. And, yeah, it's uh, it's a lot of innings. Yeah, uh, all right. We'll sit and wait and watch that. All right, how about our uh, Rammies? Uh, the the uh, offense has been uh, maligned and praised all at the same time. What are your thoughts about the Rams' offense? Well, it's made progress from a year ago for sure when it did almost nothing. You know, this is a process that with young players, it just takes time. People want – this offense to go into race mode, it's still learning how to drive. It's There's a ways to go. Young running backs, young receivers. Uh, I don't know why everybody's saying suddenly you should throw the ball 60 times a game. Go, go no huddle, run the spread offense, go crazy like Chip Kelly in Philly. They're not ready for that just yet. It's a great point. Everybody wants to be everything else. You have to sort of coach the talent level you have, right? You don't have Michael Vick in, in the backfield. You know, Sam Bradford can run a spread offense. He can't really run it, you know, like running around running it, but he can he can operate in a uh, quick pace tempo. He did it in college. But, boy, that takes a toll on your offensive line. You guys have to know how to line up correctly, where to go. they got to think quickly. Right now they're just trying to execute the offense correctly uh, the normal way. You know, take your time, gather yourself, get out there, remember what you're doing, execute the play. Uh, you know, trying to do that at fast pace, uh, it's pretty hard if you're still learning to do it at regular speed. How how different – I know there's different players, but it, it's the same offensive coordinator from last year, Brian Schottenheimer. So how different is the offense this year as opposed to last year? Well, it is uh, it is quite a bit different. Now, fans want to see it to be – you know, want to see a dramatically different defense or an offense. But, hey, just Steven Jackson's gone. He was a power runner. You don't have a power runner now. What you've got are speedy receivers – you're going to do different things, to hand the ball to Tavon Austin in the backfield, give him some reverse opportunities, uh, try to uh, fling the ball to your quick guys in space. It's a little more like the uh, Mike Martz uh, greatest show on turf offense than it was uh, what we saw last year. So, yeah, it, it is a different scheme, but, again, it takes time to, to put it all together. Uh, two weeks, two pick six by Bradford. Just bad luck or something else? The irony of that is, both of those mistakes came on what should have been really safe plays. You know, you're just trying to run a little counter play on your goal line, uh, full passing play, but he doesn't get the ball over the guy in front of him. And that leads to a touchdown. The other one was a simple dump off where the receiver or the target admitted just taking his eyes off the ball, hits off the, the guy's chest, ends up being a touchdown. Those are supposed to be safe plays, plays that are, that are almost as safe as, as a running play. That didn't turn out that way. Yeah. Uh, Jeff Gordon, when can we read you? When can we see you? 
Well, we'll have. Uh, I got my tip sheet up this morning. Got kind of tied up uh, slogging through all of that uh, Pirates misery uh, this morning. Suddenly, they've lost three games in a row. So. Uh, people are a little tight there, and you can uh, check that out on stlw.com. Uh, good to see the Cardinals up two games with ten to play. That's a little breathing room here. Yeah, they've they've gotten you know they've gotten it done out there with their pitching. If they can just find a way to deal with these injuries, uh, they know that Pittsburgh and uh, Cincy, those teams play each other six times in the last nine games. Uh, that's got to help the Cardinals. Uh, that's Jeff Gordon, stltoday.com. Jeff, be safe, and we'll see you next Thursday in studio. All right, thank you. You got it. Jeff Gordon here on Big 550 KTH.